Would you like to boost your form's completion rate? Well, let me show you how with JotForm's interactive card forms. Hey JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and the more fun, creative and interactive your form is, the more likely your user is going to fully complete that form. Now, the best way to do that is with our card format option, which is completely interactive. Now, if you're not sure where to start, let me show you right down below. We have over 10,000 interactive form templates. So let's go ahead and utilize this drink your roots template. And one thing I like to do before I get started is I like to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So we can see right up here, we have this first piece, which we saw in the preview of our template. So we have that detox drinks order form. We can see there's six questions. Now the first card is going to have what looks like a product list. Perfect. We have all of our products here. We can edit those if needed. The second card we have name email, phone number, what time will you be picking up, and then the different payment methods. Now, remember, if you want one of these to be required or all of them, we can click on that properties gear and make sure it's required. And likewise, if we've taken a scroll and we decided, you know what, there's actually something that's missing that I would like to add in. Over on the left-hand side, we can choose to add a form element. And let's say we want to add in, is there anything that we should know any instructions for that order. We can just drag and drop it in wherever we would like for it to be within that card format. Let's just do additional instructions. Perfect. And if we'd like to change any of the branding or colors, we can do that in the top right hand corner with our form designer. Right now we have that bowl of lemons in the background, but if we want to change that, of course we can change that to be however we want it to be. We can choose a video and we can change it from card format to classic if we would like, but I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and preview this form and let's see what this looks like. So here we have drink your roots. When life gives you lemons, you order a delicious juicy lemonade. Now, one thing I highly suggest is to make sure you do have that number of questions listed because People want to know upfront, how much time am I going to be spending filling out this form, especially in the card format, because they can't see the entire form. But now let's go ahead and do start. We'll do next. Now let's say we want a grapefruit and a lemon. Perfect, we can see it's $15. We go next. Let's do a quick fill form. And we'll go next. Perfect. And we can change this to in A for not applicable. And we are going to pick this up at 1.02 p.m. We'll go next. And this is where our users would pay, but we have not connected PayPal yet. Let's go ahead and jump out. And one thing I wanna point out too, is if we click on this top one, one of the things I mentioned just a minute ago is to have that section question count. So just make sure that's turned on so that people know. See, we turned that off and the number of questions went away. But this really kind of gamifies the form filling out process, having to click that next button to go to the next page. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to make your forms more interactive, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.